see installing at uh, the Stone Panels Incorporated uh, headquarters and factory in uh, Coppell, Texas. Uh, we'll see a crew here installing uh, Roman classic travertine and uh, granite uh, panels uh, to reclad over uh, existing uh, uh, tilt-up uh, concrete walls. Uh, panels uh, typically size 4 foot by 8 foot uh, were set on uh, outriggers at the front of the basket and lifted up into place uh, for installing. The uh, original uh, building had been uh, tilt-up uh, exposed aggregate uh, concrete. It was uh, covered with steel stud framing and then interlocking channels attached uh, over the framing uh, so uh, for attachment of the, of the panels. The crew here will uh, again make a round trip in about every, uh, about every five minutes. The panels can be anchored directly to masonry, often uh, using uh, masonry screws uh, such as uh, Tapcon screws by Bildex or uh, Quickcon screws uh, fasteners uh, from Hilti. But more often, the panels are attached to framing or furring. We recommend minimum 16 gauge framing uh, spaced 16 inch on center. Uh, the interlocking channels are typically 24 inch on center. It's sometimes easier to install and slide panels if uh, some soapy water mix is sprayed on the interlocking channels uh, to work as a, a lubricant. Outriggers are anchored to the bottom of the basket for lifting uh, these four foot by eight foot travertine panels weighing about 125 pounds. We had a uh, combination of uh, Roman classic travertine and uh, Bertie tropical granite uh, put on the exterior of the building. In uh, some cases or some locations there was a, uh, a belt course uh, to uh, protrude out uh, from the uh, travertine as an, as an accent. Uh, cornices are frequently fabricated uh, from uh, stone light uh, material. Uh, the uh, lightweight stone works very well in that you can have a massive appearing shape, uh, but it is uh, very uh, quickly and easily installed on a building. <laughs> 